Hello everybody, my name is Ilse coming at you from hobbycare.com with another video. Today we're going back to the Ufotable Cafe, Ufotable, I still don't feel comfortable pronouncing that in any specific way. But today we're going back to the Ufotable Cafe because they just opened the, the case files of Lord L. Melloy II Cafe. So they're serving food and desserts and drinks based on the anime, which is currently airing right now. So we are being so current. I thought this production was in UFO Table. I thought it might have participated in one of the episodes, but I'm pretty sure it's made by another studio. I'll put the name on screen. But still, I love Waver Velvet. Uh, he's definitely one of my favorite characters of Fate Zero. The people that I was rooting the most for was for Waver and Ixander. So I really like the character design in Lord El Meloy and the general vibe. I have to admit I'm not finding it super interesting, but I love the characters. The one complaint I do have though is number one, CGI Cube. And number two, Grey's little monologue when she's about to like kill something, it's so cringy, it's un unbearable, it makes me want to just click out, stop watching, I hate it, it's so bad, I just don't understand why they just couldn't run that by like an English speaker, it's so cringy. Do you guys have any opinion about it? Because it really makes me feel some type of way. Anyway, regardless, I'm really excited to go see if they have any decorations. So without any further ado, let's go to work and at night, let's go to the UFO Table Cafe. So here's the menu for Lord El Meloy. They have a sandwich and a dessert. So I got the dessert bread. And they have a bunch of other drinks. Lord El Meloy's drinks are Waver's drink. Um, so it's Coke, ale, cherry syrup, whipping, and chocolate. Sounds interesting. This is Grey's. This is what I got. Um, this just has milk and vanilla and black cocoa. And then this is Rhinus's drink. And here are the others. And each drink has a coaster. So I'm gonna get Grey's drink. And then I don't know which mat I'm gonna get, but because if you get the, the food or the dessert, it's random. Unfortunately, they don't have any decorations for Lord Elmelo, but I'm gonna get the giant folder. So I got the waiver mat, which I think I wanted the most because I don't really like gray. I pretty much only like waiver, so yay! It's so nice too. So it has the UFO table, the, the name here, and then the cell drawing. Really nice. This is the folder I want to buy. But I guess there's only one left. It's so nice. And here are all the mats you can get. They also have like a random pin. But I really want the folder. But if there's only one left, what if someone else buys it? It's actually like this at the front and then black and white on the back. It's so cool. Oh, I really hope no one else gets it before me. Or maybe they have more, I don't know. So I guess for this, like for the Lord El Meloy stuff, um, the coasters are random. So I got flat. I don't like saying his name in Japanese, but I got flat. It's nice. I really like the design of the black with the red and then just the eye color. So this is the gray drink, I think. The whipped cream kind of like fell. 
So it's milk and vanilla and cocoa. I'm gonna wait until I get the dessert to show you everything together and try it. So here's the Ed dessert. It is, I think, Danish bread with chocolate ice cream and uh, I forgot what those cookies are called, these, but it really does look like him. So this is my whole spread. Here lies Ed. It's pretty good, it's just like a pound cake and chocolate ice cream. So I got, I did the Lord of Meloy like random batch drop and I got Luvia, which is ironic because Rin is my favorite fate character and she is her arch nemesis. But I will admit that her character design in Lord El Melo is really, really nice. Hi! Okay, guys, I'm back home. But I hope you enjoyed the Lord El Melo Cafe. I was so sad that I couldn't get the folder. It's really popular. The Fate franchise is so popular in Korea. So I'm not surprised at the same time because people do love it. But the Luvia pin that I got, I don't know where I put it. I think I just tried to put it in my bag, but instead actually just dropped it on the ground because it's not on any of the bags that I had. It's completely gone. So that's really disheartening. But just to reiterate, here is the coaster that I got. I really like the black and white design with the red. And here is Waver. So I thought the dessert was so delicious. The milk drink, 7,001 for that. Super steep. It's literally just milk with a little bit of vanilla flavoring. And overall, the UFO Table Cafe is kind of a money grab. I go often because I love the vibe and I want to keep giving it money so that it stays open because I love it so much. But for that drink, I really don't think it was worth it at all. I would have preferred to get one of the other drinks. So if you do visit, maybe don't get the gray drink. I got the gray drink because I thought you got the gray coaster if you ordered it. I wanted to have the waiver mat and the gray coaster, but uh, the coaster is random, so I don't think it's worth it to buy the gray drink. Just get one of the, their other drinks that are, that are in an actual, like, good size. A size that is worth 7,001. Either way, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think of Lord El Meloy. Are you excited for a fake grand order? I'm super excited for a fake grand order. I, like I said before, I'm not enjoying Lord El Melo that much just because I think that the subject matter I don't like and I don't particularly like gray. Controversial, I know. But, Fate Grand Order, I'm there. I am there, I'm so excited for it. Maybe they'll do something in the UFO Table Cafe for it because as far as I'm concerned, Lord El Melo isn't even animated by UFO Table. So hopefully we'll see that. But anyway, without any further ado, I'm gonna finish this video. And until next week, goodbye.